Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow trap liars. Oblix here, back with you today from Techtopia. How y'all doing today? So, what an awesome, awesome view. So, guys, uh, last time I bought the farm, uh, both literally and figuratively, I put in some new farms. I, uh, I don't remember if I actually showed this last time or not, but anyway, there's new farms here. Over on this side, of the, yeah, I think I did show this because we talked about uh, how distance matters, right? Uh, then I bought the farm in that I died in the nether, punching a pigman like a moron. But you will notice I am full of levels again. 48 levels the old Oblix has. Uh, yeah, I'll show you in a minute where we got those from. Uh, I did go ahead and craft up these little uh, guard shacks because remember we had the little guard token right here. The guards would come up to the gate and they would just engage everything out there. They'd run out here like Rah! and try to murder everything. And they were just getting in fights like every day of night. So I built this little guard shack. And I built one at every gate. And they're like, so they're set back just a little bit. And the guard usually comes up to about here and just kind of chills. And he'll occasionally go kill something. You know, if there's a zombie like right here, he'll just walk up and kill the zombie. But that's as far as he'll go. Um, I think they came out pretty good looking. You know, for just a small little nothing building. We decorated out the inside just a little bit. We got our little bar here. So when you come into the town, the guard's like, give me your papers, please. And you can turn around, look at the bookshelf, get the papers. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, uh, did I show all this already? I can't remember. I have brain damage. Y'all will have to forgive me. Anyway, there's the little guard tower token. That's why these work as they do. One, two, and three of them. So, let me first show you, before we get into what I want to get into today. Uh, oh, I did grab another lumberjack uh, while I was chilling. Was it last night? Night before last? I don't remember. There was A dude came into town with lumberjack trait, and I wanted another lumberjack. I wanted one for each type of tree. So we grabbed that third lumberjack, and I've got them set. So one of them only harvests is birch, one oak, and one spruce. So we should get a nice mix. If we ever find some jungle, then we'll get a third, or a fourth. So, levels, 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 levels. So you guys remember the little skelly spawnerator we have down here? Well, I had done did, done do did things to it. Uh, in other words, well, let's go this way. I haven't been this way in a while because I did add another quicker way to get here. A uh, little quick drop straight from right there. And you can see I started building out and decorating a little bit of a room here. You can see our spawner right there. And those skellies just drop and they're funneled up over. Drop right here and I make with the hackety hack chop chop. They die. They provide stuff. Uh, you know, I've just been turning the bones into bone meal, bone meal into bone blocks for ease of transport and building. Because all these are bone blocks. Yay! Uh, then, what else? Oh, we've got arrows here, so arrows for days, which I have none in my inventory, so let's uh, do that. And then everything else gets shunted down over here, and we'll fill up these chests in order. So it should fill up this row, this row, this row, and then this row. If all this gets full, it'll start dumping it into a trash can over there. So I've got some crap stuff we don't want. This is a separate trash can that hooks up to our trash can over here, which I'll show you in a second. And we can just dump stuff in there like it. So close the lid, and it all goes away, magically disappears. I should put my armor on. And then the good stuff, we just hang on to. So like, bow with power one, we'll just dump it there. The got, got some boots, we'll put the boots over here. Like I got a soul, we can do a little enchanting if we need to. We can do a little merging if we need to. I've already got some, uh, somewhere I got a, D oh I got this bow here actually, no. Yeah, this bow came from here just combining different things. 
Alright. You know, we got some stuff on my armor, just combining well I, actually this one was these were all enchanted using this enchanter right there. And get a little bit of lapis up here. So yeah. Uh it works pretty decent. Like with the choppity chop chop. We get all the XP, all the things get sucked into the system. And have I hit the redstone? Yeah, I hit the redstone. Uh, it's just a simple little dropper tower. We are in 112, so we can't use water towers. We had to go old school. We got a little dropper tower using observers that shoots everything way up. And then I've got an impulse SV item sorter right here with uh, overflow protection. And uh, like I said, then we just have a hopper chain that runs around. And this side I still have open. So we've got the same little dropper elevator over there. Uh, so it's just a stack of droppers with uh, some observers with a little pulse clock uh, that runs off of that bottom dropper. So our uh, this is our trash can line. We have that chest right behind this block. It sucks the items out, up the dropper line, into the hoppers, around the hoppers, and into the Destructomatic 9000, which will just dump everything that comes to it into the lava. Of course, behind here we just have the chest with the hoppers, and that's fed from that line right there. Which is coming from everything behind this wall right here. And I don't know if there's a good spot to open this. Yeah. Yeah, here's the little dropper elevator. Do 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 do. Radar. And you see the little observer line that makes that happen. And then here's the old, uh, you know, bog standard vanilla. You know, item sorter that's been in the game since Impulse SV created it, like, I don't know, Minecraft 7, 1.7 or something like that. Uh, it's worked for a really, really, really long time. But yeah, I can just sit here and hack for days, and it's awesome. So, good little quick way to get some XP back from uh, my stupid death the other day. And like I said, we did some... Uh, Level 30 enchant on most of my stuff. Uh, didn't get anything super great. I uh, did get looting on my sword, which was awesome. It said sharpness, so I, I went ahead and took it, and it ended up being sharpness and looting, which was baller. Uh, pickaxe was just efficiency, so yeah, I said noth nothing stellar, but nothing terrible either. So today, guys, there's just kind of two ways I can go. Um, at some point, we're going to have to work on a ranch, right? And start processing these animals up here. Uh, so I could work on that today, though it's super expensive because you got to buy the rancher, you have to buy the barn, or you have to buy the each pin is its own f fee. So there's a pig pin, a sheep pin, a cow pin, a chicken pin. Uh, and they're all independent, which is super, super expensive. And I don't think I have the emeralds for it. Uh, or I could go with a barracks, which is a large structure with 10 beds and the, all the guards will sleep in it. But they can use it to train as well, which is kind of cool. But that's not going to make me any money. This is going to make me some money. But I'll have better guards. But right now, I'm a pretty good guard for the village. You know, it says Necromancer coming. I go hack up the Necromancer and... He never makes it into town because he's too stupid to figure out how gates work. You know, the merchant can figure it out, but the necromancer can't. So, uh, so he just stands at the gate and spawns mobs right inside town. Nah, and I, they're pretty easy to hack up. So, I guess I'll keep hacking them up for the time being. I think I'll go ahead and start working on a barn. Uh, and I think, like we were looking at last episode I'm gonna do it in this area over here so I'm gonna do a lot of leveling in this area uh, make it with a ton of diggity diggity do I have my shovel good Ooh, no my shovel's not good I may need to go make a diamond shovel and enchant it we have the levels for it uh, so I may go do that and then start you know just clearing all this space out because I want to make a great big old barn uh, with some fields for the different animals in the barn, which I think would be pretty cool. You know, kind of a indoor slash outdoor aspect to it. But let me uh, go get a good shovel, make with the leveling, 
maybe get a frame laid out of what we're going to make the barn look like. And I will bring you back. Alright, everybody. So, several hours later, is that looking barny enough? <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, children. No, no. No, 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 no. Bad, bad. Is that looking like a barn? How about that? Uh, I think so. I think it'll work. You see, I've done a ton, metric, but ton of digging. Uh, granted, this side over here, you know, yes, it did come up this high. But this side wasn't nearly that high. So, you know, a lot of... This was multiple layers of digging, but this over here was just one or two layers of digging, so not too bad. But uh, it did take forever. But now I need to get to crafting this, and you'll see in my inventory, I do have lots of red concrete and some white quartz. I did have to go with quartz because I need the slabs and the stairs, and white concrete doesn't have slabs and stairs, and that sucks. Because this would look really cool with white concrete, but I'm going to have to go with the quartz. And look! We finally got silk touch on something. Unfortunately, it's a shovel. Well, I mean, that's okay. I get grass blocks. And, you know, I went through about uh, four shovels. I finished off that iron shovel and I went through three diamond shovels. Was it three? Yeah, about three, digging this out. Until I finally got this enchantment on this guy right at the end when I was just finishing up. Hey, Vey, what you gonna do? Anyway, let me uh, get to placing a whole bunch of actually let me grab some cobblestone I want to put that at the bottom kind of keep our pattern like we have on all of our other buildings but let me get to placing down some blockage and we're going to get a barn raised uh, sound like the Amish over here it ain't efficiency 5 but it'll get the job done won't it so yeah, let me get some uh, blocks placed, and I will bring you back. Alright, got the barn built. Uh, still have a lot of detail work left I want to do on it, but have done a little bit of detail, like with the hay bales and such, and the cobble underneath the fences. Got our animals moved in. And tried to build some barn doors, but they're uh, a little harder than I expected. Uh, we do have a second floor we can pop up. We can just store crud up here and then I've got a loft as well we can use for you know our own storage if we need to. Put some hay bales up here because you can see them as you walk up look pretty cool. And I've gone ahead and raided the, uh, the town hall there for emeralds and bought us a rancher token and a cow pen. Uh, now these have to be placed either above the fence or, or the fence gate or beside the fence gate so I want to go beside and see how it works if it'll take it it did excellent so let's recognize this as the cow pen fantastic uh, so now I just need to get a, a rancher and he will come over here and make it a baby so uh, yeah let me uh get a rancher and I will bring you back who load Lord knows how long it's gonna take for a nomad to come in with the rancher skill I may just take the first one I see cuz you know that's the thing but we'll see well, hello where are my people where, where, where are my homeboys at anybody I think I got three the other day but none of them were ranchers was I would have saved one of them but just a merchant. What are you doing, homeboy? I swear I have like a war on grass. I don't know why I don't like grass so much. But... Oh, oh, are you a rancher? Be a rancher. You are an enchanter. I think that's the first enchanter. Where did our... Did he just glitch through the wall? Do I not have a window up on one of these? I think he just glitched through the wall. Huh. Interesting. So you are 
an enchanter. Not even a very good one. You're modestly smart. Uh, did we get any coming in from any of the other gates, or is this this is all we got to work with? Oh, I thought we had one. That was that's our our dude. Where's my teeny zoom key? There it is. Anybody? Anyone? 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 Bueller? Bueller? Why am I going to work? Anyone? Anyone? That's a guard. Where are you going, homeboy? Why are you all skipping doing magic through the wall? Come here. Be a rancher. Okay, you're nothing. Straight up nothing. And the other dude's actually smarter. You know what? I don't even care. Be a rancher. Boom. You're a rancher. Have a nice day. Why do you pick up shears? You're only going to be dealing with cows. Oh, you need a bucket. You know what? I think I told our blacksmith not to make buckets. I'm pretty sure. Where's our blacksmith? Lord only knows. Homeboy never has anything to do. This is the miners never mine iron. Okay, okay. You need, you need a bucket. I, I get it. Okay, you can craft a bucket. How about that? There. I told him to craft a bucket. Where are you going? Go deal with your cows. You just are really pissed off about the bucket. Okay, fine. I will go get a bucket. Sheesh. There. I mean, it's my bucket. It's not a villager crafted bucket. You just gotta deal with it. But it is a bucket. I like your little hat, though, I gotta say. There, now he's got a bucket. He should be happy. Now you're gonna go work the cows? Instead of wandering around aimlessly looking for a bucket that you don't even need? Finally, we're going to get some life on this side of the village. Isa bueno. Just don't go down in my mind, okay? There we go. Why are you have such a hard time jumping, homeboy? Hey, you went into the barn. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. Let's check him out from the side. What's he doing? Dang, you didn't even go in there. You just stand in the doorway. What's up? And now you're leaving. Wow. What are you doing, you little weirdo? Okay, trap doors are an issue. Apparently. All he did was milk a cow. All he did was milk a cow. So I'm going to have to take these trap doors off because he obviously is getting stuck on them. I think they look cool, but what you going to do? Let's see what you do now. Are you going to feed them cows? I really wish you would. Oh, look at you! Oh, you just... Duck it right in its rear end. There you go. Now that's the right direction. It takes him a minute to feed him one piece of wit. Oh, but apparently that failed. Now he wants a bucket again. Dude. I'm not giving you another bucket. You don't... Okay. Can we turn off the milk? Let's turn off the milk. Uh, milk cow. No. There we go. Now, see, you don't need a bucket because you don't need to milk a cow. I guess the milk is for the the chef, maybe? Lord only knows.
knows where you put it. Apparently right there is a good spot for milk. We'll go ahead and leave that in here. Is he getting more wheat? Yep. Just want to make sure we're all good. That doesn't go there. He's got a long old height from the storage system. Where's that miner going? What are you doing? Why aren't you making with the mining? What are you doing over here? And not down in the mine diggity diggity. Is the mine all backed up? Dang it. I swear these people in this town are a big pain in my butt making me do a lot of work. Alright, let's go check the mine real quick. Maybe that all my mines are played out. And little druid's not doing good enough to refill them. Tell you, the, the druid is a little... Little suck, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, see, this one's too far down. See, it's not sparkly anymore. It's turned off. All my mines have turned off. See, now that one will turn on. That means they're, they're too far dug down. And the druid hadn't done a good job of patching them. They've hit the uh, end of the village, which sucks. Get over there. There we go. So I'm really not sure how to fix this. I'm going to have to do some reading and see because this is the druid's not filling them in. He won't fill them in unless it's a mine, but he doesn't seem to, f you know, when it's not sparkly. Like if I pop this off and put it on here, see how it immediately turns off? Tells you it's too far down. Uh, the druid won't fill it in either, it doesn't seem. So let's just run down here and see what's what. You know, this isn't even that far down. Uh, I did read something about there could be like lava. Oh, it is far enough down. Look at that, that's the end of the village. Yeah, that's our village wall right there. Huh. So I wonder if I do this. Just put a few blocks. Is that enough to get the the druid to fill it back in again? I wonder. Or am I gonna have to come in here and like fill it you know, twenty blocks full or something to get the druid to notice it? Oh, see, yeah, it's an active mine again. Look at that. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Come on, guys. There's real mines down here now. Y'all can make it to diggity diggity. Where's all my miners at? Did it turn nighttime, maybe? Yep. And that would be why I have no miners. So I think I need to buy some more mine tokens and maybe fill in some of those mines just to just a scoosh. Maybe that druid will will do some work on it. Uh, but yeah, we got a rancher, we got a barn, and you know we have milk. Cause yeah. But I do think that is gonna do it for this episode. I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me as always. And until next time, you guys get out there. Make some noise. See ya.